Today for Mouse Trap Monday, we're gonna try to catch some rats with this cage style trap that's based on a very old design. This style trap was common in the early 1900s and is typically made in France. For several decades, it appeared in hardware store catalogs and it was sold under many different brand names, including Never Fail and Climax. Now the trap I have here is not an antique. It's currently being sold on Amazon, but you're gonna wanna shop around. Some sellers are offering it for more than double the price of others. And I selected the cheaper option. I bought this trap for just under $24. The design's pretty simple. It has two compartments, a front and back. The front has a wire funnel with spikes. The rat will climb in there, go down in the first chamber, but it can't get out because of the spikes. Then it tries to get in the second chamber. There's a little trap door with a counterweight. It will step on this, go down. You can see that bolt back there lifting this back up. Hopefully we're able to catch multiple rats. Then when you want to take them out, there's a little latch right here. That door opens. Now first I'm going to show you how this works with our pet rat, see if he goes in there. Then I'm going to set it up in the barn with motion cameras and see if we can catch some wild rats. Okay, go on in the trap, right through the spikes. He's a pro. That didn't take long at all. He went in there through the trap door and now he's caught. And he seems to like to poop every time I put him in a trap. Let's let him go. Well, we know this trap can work. Let's go set it up in the barn and try to get the wild rats. Last night I caught a rat with this cage style trap. Not a big rat, but a younger rat. Now I have a hard time catching the big rats. They don't like going in traps, they're very cautious. But the younger rats are more curious, they want the bait. It went through the funnel, stepped on the trap door, and it got caught in the second chamber. Now several times we caught other rats, they went through the funnel, but they climbed back out. I don't have these spikes adjusted just right. Maybe I need to bend them up more. But once they're in the second chamber, you got them. Now this is a non-native Norway rat. So in this case, I'm gonna humanely dispatch it, then I'm gonna feed it to wild animals. Now right now there's two locations I set up the cameras to film wildlife. One's at the beaver dam with coyotes, beavers, nutria, raccoons, and the other's at the compost pile. Every night a skunk and a possum come. When the opossum shows up, he gets the wrath of Mr. Stinky Butt the Skunk. That's the same one that sprayed me. So let's go set up the motion cameras at the compost pile. We'll see who enjoys eating a rat snack.
Well, that was interesting. The skunk got there first, but it didn't want the rat. It wanted the table scraps. Later, the opossum came and gobbled that rat down. The rest of the night, the two of them fought, and the skunk sprayed the opossum. And looking closer at the trail camera footage, there were two opossums, a fat one and a skinny one. But one thing's for sure, opossums really like to eat rats and moldy bagels. But overall, we caught one young rat with a cage trap. Now, I didn't have the prongs adjusted correctly, and several times they crawled out. But if they step on the trap door, we got them. It's a very old design, and it still works. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please consider clicking the button right there. I've posted over 500 videos on YouTube, and currently I'm posting new videos every Monday, Thursday, and Saturday. So if you want to see how to catch mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, voles, and gophers, stay tuned.